Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. My name is Trix and on this channel we share one little spark of life in each and every video. Mainly, we hang out together every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We unbox subscription boxes, we share shopping hauls when we have them, we review products, and we share our love for all things Disney. And that love for Disney is exactly what we're sharing in today's video. Any or all of that sounds like something you would be interested in seeing more of. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and ring that bell, that way you will not miss any future Future uploads. If you are a returning member of our community, welcome so much. Thank you for your continuing support. It is great to see you again. In today's video, we are going to be going through my Disney ornament collection. So the tree went up the week of Thanksgiving. It's been really festive, really Christmassy in my apartment. Christmas music has been playing pretty much nonstop, pretty much since after Thanksgiving. So I thought, hey, let me jump on here and share my Christmas ornaments. Some of these are newer ornaments. Some of them are older ornaments. Let's take a look at them. This one is actually my newest ornament and it comes from Target. A few weeks ago I went to the Christmas section of Target to buy my Christmas cards and I saw this one and I went like <gasps> really really loudly like I'm sure like you could even hear it very clearly even underneath my mask. It's Mulan but it's not Princess Mulan. It's Warrior Mulan. I had to get this. I'm going to fill you in on a little rant that my family and friends here all the time. Now, since we're friends, I'm going to let you in on that little rant. The thing that bothers me about most of Mulan's merchandise, and I know that Disney does it from like a marketing standpoint because you can get the kids who wanna dress up like princesses and you can put them princessy type of dress, but in the movie, she was not all about that sort of life. One, she's not a princess. I'm really annoyed that she gets lumped in a lot of times with the princesses, but that's that's not even the point of this. The point of this is she didn't feel comfortable in her matchmaker garb. Like you remember, there was a whole song, you know, the when will my reflection show who I am inside? It bothers me that Mulan is not marketed more in her soldier costume. So yeah, this one, she's in it. And so I just had to have it. Since we started with ornaments from characters from my childhood, let's move right along. This is a Hallmark ornament from the 90s of Pocahontas. She is canoeing and she has flick right here. I love how they captured her hair being so windswept. Next, we have a duo, uh, also Hallmark ornaments and an essential 90s Disney movie. From The Lion King, we have Nala and we have Simba. This is the scene where Simba is stepping, which I think is pretty cool, stepping in Mufasa's, stepping in Mufasa's big paw print. These always hang up together. Next, we have one of my favorite characters, definitely my favorite Hundred Acre Woods character, Tigger, building a snowman. Growing up, my parents would buy me a Hallmark ornament every Christmas, and so for a while, they were Disney ornaments. The next one is another ornament from Target in the same type of animation or the type of illustration, I guess you would say, as the Mulan one, and it is Ariel. I, I love how the back is just her mass of hair. I keep going between Ariel and Belle being my favorite princess. It actually changes by like the month or kind of just whatever mood I'm in. But yeah, loved this one. I loved, I, I loved that it was just like hair and a little bitty mermaid. If you have watched my first Disney pin collection video, if you haven't, I'll link it up above in the eyes and down below in the description box. You will know that I used to collect exclusively Peter Pan pins. Love the movie Peter Pan. He is one of my favorite characters. And he's one of those characters that isn't very, or for a while, wasn't really featured much as far as merchandise in the parks. So for a while, every time I would see a Peter Pan anything merchandise, I would pretty much buy it. And this is no exception, but it is such a beautiful ornament. It's the gang on Big Ben. So we have Peter and Wendy, and John and Michael. I love the detailing on this one specifically because like they could have just like put all of the characters on the front and then like not gone like look at the detail work like just beautiful if you wanted to put it on the shelf which some years I do some years I hang them on the tree and uh it's it's beautiful from all directions so we have actually started I did forget to mention this is from Disney parks we are now moving into Disney parks Disney ornaments and this is one that I purchased on a trip back in 2001 it's that flat ornament. There's Mickey surrounded in holly. And then on the back, Walt Disney World 2001, which was a really good trip. Oh no! 
Okay, so I used to have more Disney ornaments. I used to have more ornaments in general. And this one apparently was just like a slight casualty of the incident of Christmas of 2017, where Walt decided to climb the Christmas tree and the tree held no contest with like the 23 pound cat. It scaled the top, the tree came crashing down and with it almost all of my ornaments and a lot I had to throw away. Some I was able to fix. This one wasn't too bad. It's supposed to be Minnie Mouse as the Statue of Liberty. To be perfectly honest, I cannot remember if I purchased this at a Disney, at the Disney store in New York City or if I purchased this in like the New York section of the streets of the of the streets of America at Hollywood Studios before that kind of closed down. But yes. Regardless, it comes from a Disney store. Keeping kind of with the belt ornaments, this, <laughs> I've always thought that this was such a fun ornament. It's one of those spirally, bouncy, bouncy, like Tigger sort of ornaments. So it's red and all sparkly and glittery. This one's really fun. We have another Peter Pan ornament. So Peter Pan with the present. Oh, <gasps> I hope it's not the one from Captain Hook. Ooh. Next are the two loudest ornaments I own. <laughs> Another pair, and these are just so, so adorable. It's Mickey Snowman and Minnie Snowman all dressed up for the winter season. So this was like a thing. This was like a collection at one point that they like now how they have like the Mickey and Minnie gingerbread. They had the snowman. I'm not exactly sure if they still have the snowman. I don't see it on Shop Disney. I just see like the gingerbread. But yes, these are super, super cute. Actually, I have from the same time period, the Mickey stocking. So I bought this and I really wish like in retrospect, like hindsight is 2020. I really wish just to complete the set that I would have bought the mini one like ornament that I used to keep on my tree. But now after the Christmas tree went a flying down, it was one that was saved and now it's on the shelf. So nothing happens to it. This is such a beautiful one. And it's, it's one that a friend bought me for Christmas but you have Cinderella's glass slipper here in a glass ball. And on this side, it says Disneyland and Walt Disney World, uh, where it reads where the glass slipper always fits. And I absolutely love it. It makes me smile each and every time I open the ornaments box every Christmas to decorate. All right, and last, but certainly, certainly not least, is such, such an old ornament, such an old Disney ornament. My parents actually bought this Ooh, I want to say on either their first or their second trip to Walt Disney World. They have the other one and a few Christmases ago they were like, here, take this one. And so they have one and I have one. It's a very simple, simple ornament. It is classic Mickey, which that is, as you can see, as you can see from my sweater, that is my favorite Mickey pose. And so it's a gold classic Mickey and they left the price tag on it. And I am so, so glad they did, especially if you are a Disney fan. Like the ornaments are beautiful, but sometimes like it can be like, ooh, that, that's expensive. <laughs> this is how long ago they bought it. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. It was originally priced $4.50, but they got it on sale for $2.98. I love the old price tag, like not even a barcode. It just numbers, just the skew that you punch on in. <laughs> That's so neat. Such a cool piece of history on this ornament. Thank you so much for spending some time talking through my Disney ornament collection. Let us all know in the comments down below, do you collect ornaments? Even if they are not Disney ornaments, let us know in the comments down below, do you collect them? Or if even if you don't collect them, what is your favorite ornament that you have in your collection? Or if you don't have ornaments, if you don't put up a tree, a favorite decoration piece that you have in your collection. If you also have, because I've been seeing on the YouTubes that people have been filming their Disney ornament collections and I'm trying to check them all out because I love, love watching collection videos. If you do too, by the way, I'll link a playlist down below that I started and kind of like halt it once school began, but I'm going to try to pick up again where I went through my Disney and like my parents' Disney collections of things. Yeah, I think that's the best way that I can describe that. It's like pins and mugs and things like that. Yeah, I'll leave that down below. You can binge watch it. 
once you're done with this one. But if you have videos of your Disney pin collections, drop it in the comments down below. Let us all know so we can all go check out those videos too. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell on your way out. Absolute world to me and it would help me out so, so much. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.